Good day! I received an email from a friend. I think it's Mr. Mohammed from Morocco. He sent me an email after watching my video and he's asking if I can help him with his project right now. And he said, uh, yeah, please make a video tutorial on how to work in Dialog Evil. Okay, so let's try to help Mr. Jinnile Mohammed. Okay, Mr. Mohammed, I will help you with your project. But you need to give me one piece of crispy cream donut. <laughs> Alright, just kidding. So let's go back to... Um, okay, I actually downloaded your file and it's here now. This is the AutoCAD file. The file is Mason001. I am loading it now. And let's go to my desktop to open the dialogs evil but wait yeah here while i am working with dialogs or dialogs evil i need to clean all these stuff first in the autocad file i need to make sure everything is clear and i need to first study the drawings so it seems this is the elevation and this is the section another side of the elevation and the section and this one is the plan the ground floor and the second floor he is asking if i can help him design this with a step by step using dialogues so i can have a light from the outside and the light from the inside all right so first let's close this one a little while let's go to the desktop and open the dialogues evil since so muhammad i have dialogues and dialogues evil the recent uh, the current versions so make sure you also download it all those free typing softwares okay we should thank dialogues for this really a nice cool stuff free software from them all right thank you dialogues for this and so it's here and then first while it is loading i need to clean the let's remove first this and create a file for ground floor I'm sorry let's use this ground floor first let's move it to the 000 option make sure that all the x, x and y axis are in zero let's push other stuff to make it uh, clean something's wrong is here maybe something are in black right Oh, see, see. So let's do it again. So let's move it again to zero, zero, x and y axis. And if it's too fast for you, Mr. Muhammad, I'm sorry, but it's my way of teaching. So you should uh, follow. And uh, if you want, you can, you know, you can re rewind it anytime you want. Okay. So I have now the ground floor. So let's save it as. GF, yeah, here. Let's say this is the Mason GF. Okay, make sure it's GF. Okay, let's save it. And then again, let's go to this one again. And then save the first floor. So let's go and open the, the last one, which is here. We need to open all the layers and remove it and move it to the zero zero. So when I put it in uh, dialogs, it's it's stuck together like in the same area. First, all the items to make it clear. See if I push it, all the unnecessary layers are gone. Okay. All right. So uh, all right. let's go now. I have now the ground floor and the second floor so let's go now to um, Galaxy Evo there you go let's open open or import DWG drawing let's open the GF 
and there you go the GF is here so maybe you can close some of the other layers as well unnecessary layers like those um, the mesh lines yeah furniture also if you like uh, but not the wall the wall is really a necessary one I have now the floor plan but I need to save also the second floor so let's save us and maybe some 2F main second floor. Okay, then let's go back. Either you can import the two files or only the second floor or only the ground floor first. But in this one, I will uh, import it now. Import drawing, go to the second floor, and open. Oh, and have you seen it? Have you noticed that it's there already? Okay. <laughs> So see if you can see here, this is the second floor and this is the ground floor. If I close it, you will see I close the ground floor. Open it, open, I close the second floor, and then close it. And then if you see it's not on the same line, the, this wall is supposed to be stuck on this floor, on I mean, this wall. So I need to move, click this one, make sure it's highlighted in orange this drawing and then move drawing see this move drawing and click here to the edge of this wall and go to that one see now it's stuck to each other very good let's see close open close open it looks like and um, double checking double checking this place is not properly aligned yeah i think so it's it's right now all right, so for this one, Mr. Muhammad, I will create you a um, indoor and outdoor lighting. All right, to make you believe that I am the best lighting designer in the world, where I can help you really. And don't forget, I have a new book. Yeah, I will publish a new book. Actually, the first book. Because I'd like to design and it will be published, released on October this year. So just wait for that. I want you to be the first one to buy it, okay? Alright, so let's go now and see what we can do for you. Let's close the ground floor for now. And let's go back to the drawing because we need to check the elevation before we start our drawing. You can see here that the height of the ceiling for the ground floor is 2.85. Let's double check. DI or dimension. Dimension. See, it's 2.5. Ah, it's only 2.5. Okay. So the ceiling height for the ground floor is 2.5. So we need to make sure that it's 2.5. Okay. So let's build the house. First, you need to do is to create a new building here. A new building. So let's create a new building. And let's make sure that we selected the correct walls. So let's go back. You can see here there's an orange line here. What is this orange line? Let's check the layer. Intuit EP2. I don't know that. How about this one? More EP20. And how about this one? Quotation. Oh my god. Uh, this, this wall is really thick. I don't know which place. Okay, for, for this drawing, because they have the uh, different drawing. Maybe they can layer it as a wall, exterior wall, and then interior wall. Anyways, I will follow these um, walls, like this orange, and then the inner wall is this one. And for here, this one. Okay, alright. Let's go back here. And let's start our building. And nope, I haven't done anything yet, so let's do it. So let's start the point one up to here I, okay all right let's uh check check it later okay it should be on the correct points 
So it's like a box, so it's easy. So close the polygon and make sure it's correctly positioned here. So you can easily position it. You have to toggle the Auto or F8 or not if you don't like it. Let's check it in the zoom out, perspective view. Now, we have a very cool house. It's for the craft tour. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's do the every room. For every room, oh wait, see his story height is 2.8 so we have to change it to 2.5. Leave it the default point two thickness for the floor. It's okay. All right. So let's start now the uh, indoor. We need to cut all these rooms one by one. So we will light it one by one for every room and for outside. So Mr. Muhammad, you will have indoor lighting and outdoor lighting. Okay. So let's use this new draw new contour. You have to pick this one. Every tab has different options. So you need to pick this one. For the first, if you want to import here, if you want to build a house or the building here, if you want to build the ground also here, if you want to duplicate the buildings here. So just explore all the tabs and you will learn a lot of stuff. So here, let's go and draw the new room. So let's start with this living area. Uh, we call it in uh, Philippines living area or sala. So let's start with the sala or the living area or the receiving room for some English people um, and I don't know to Moroccan people what we call this. So like that and you can see in the ISO that you have now the living room. Cool right? Okay let's go back to the plan and create a new one. You can label it as Sejour. Ah alright. So let's name it Sejour. Sejour. All right, 0.5 correct. All right, next let's go for the room. Uh, what we call this one? Say sale de bain or same bain. Okay, let's use the interior wall as this one and this one. Make sure that you pick or you point the right points. Okay. See this one is not so right click if you made a mistake right click and click this one and adjust it all right let's see now you have room two or for now let's do this back door as another room Let's say yes because it keeps on popping. So download project zero. Let's say part zero. Okay. Check. It's like this. All right. Very good. Go to the top again. And the new room. We're creating a new room again. I guess from maybe. All right. So we have this. And then to the garage. Alright, we have a toilet here. So let's have one toilet here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and another one for the garage. Why the wall is like this? I don't get it. The plan is too thick. Anyways, let's follow Mr. Mullet's design. So here you go. We now have the complete room. Room 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the toilet, and 6, the garage. Okay. Expand. This is the expand and zoom. If you want to zoom it, you just have to scroll it and then zoom out this one. Zoom out. Okay. So, that's it for now. And we will continue it later.